Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of RB Plays All of Fabric 3. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world doing all the cool modded things. My name is RB Plays. I am your humble host on this side of the screen. Thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. So <clears throat> last time we were together, we did a, a lot of we did a lot of things. Uh, we worked on some uh, some piping and some stuff over there at a tree farm. Tree farm's working well. I did put let's show you that real quick. I did put a roof over the top of it because <coughs> excuse me. We had a we had a slight issue with um, the trees growing too tall and not being harvestable and and all that. So we put a roof on it. Uh, did that. Uh, at the suggestion of the folks in the live stream, and uh, and that seems to be working a lot better. Um, this is <laughs> this is full. I love it. Um, <clears throat> we also worked on something over here in the live stream, and that was a melon and pumpkin farm because we need to be doing a little bit of trading with villagers uh, to be able to get some cool goodies. Uh, so one of the things that we did was we went over to our. Uh, our, our XP farm and we grabbed the vacuum hopper. We'll have to make another one of these, but essentially what we can do now is uh, we can harvest uh, melons and pumpkins in this space and uh, and they all get sent back over to our vacuum hopper, right? That doesn't help us over here uh, because the only melons and pumpkins that get harvested or get collected over there are like the first two rows here. Like if I did this one here, oh, that one goes. This one won't though, right? That one comes to me um, <clears throat> because this only has like a, 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 a radius of, I don't know, eight blocks or something like that that it'll harvest or that it'll collect from. Um, but that's OK, because what I would like to do today is I would like to set up a uh, I would like to set up an automation for this so that <clears throat> so that we can get our melons and pumpkins harvested for us auto magically. Right now, I did notice in the in the pack that there's really not anything, as far as I could tell, there's not anything that would uh, that would do any kind of uh, automatic farming for us. There is this basic fish farm. We built one of those, by the way, and uh, it it doesn't seem to be working right. Hello, creepers. Uh, but we put it over here, just kind of out of the way, and uh, it, it it does it does fishing. Right, it gets us caught cod and salmon and, and puffer fish and all that. But if you break this, if you ba if you break the basic fish farm, it, it deletes it from the world. Like I can't harvest this. I we did it three times. It broke it every every time I, I broke it, it was gone. So we actually had to uh, put one back in the world creatively in the live stream. So if you want to see that whole process, you can go back to uh, I think it was two live streams ago on their Twitch channel, and and you should be able to see that. Um, but then over here, like I said, oh, bummer, bummer, bummer. I'll have to do, I'll have to redo that. Hello, and hello, and then hello, and hello. Uh, that'll grow. Um, but I do want to get something set up here for an automatic melon and pumpkin farm, so that uh, so that we don't have to keep coming over here with an axe and and breaking these manually, right? So what we're going to need is we're going to need a we're going to need a lot of pistons, right? We're going to need like uh, forty one. We're going to need forty pistons and forty one observers, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it should be forty. Be 40 of one and 40 of the other. 40 of one, 41 of the other. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's get our observers. I'm pretty sure that I can make all of the observers that we need. I have one. Uh, oh, we need to go down here. So, ob, zer, zer, hello, zer, er, observer. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's do that. And that gives us one. We need 41 of these. That's cool. 41. Uh, and then we need uh, several pistons. So pistones. There we go. We have five of those. Uh, so now if we go in here and we want to craft pistons, uh, do that, do that. That gives us five. And so we're going to need 40 of these. Oh, I don't have enough wood. I don't have enough wood. Surely you're missed. Surely you are mistaken. Uh, so let's do that. And then let's do that. And that should be fun. Okay, that's fine. It should be fine. Boom, and boom, boom, and then boom, and then boom, and then boom, boom, and boom, and that should be fine. That should be enough. So now, piston, you, you, uh, that gives us six. Again, we need 40 of these. And then we want to turn those into sticky pistons, right? So sticky pistons, 
uh, 40 of these, yeah? 40 of these. Uh, we're going to need some... Oh, hello, nighttime. Sleep. Make it daytime. We also need a phantom farm because we need uh, phantom membranes. I'll show you why we're going to need those here in just a moment. Uh, just a moment or two. Uh, but if we get some pistons... Or not pistons. If we get some... Oh, we need to turn these pistons into sticky pistons. So do that and then get some slimes. Slime? Yeah, please, slime. Oh, hello? There we go. So slimes, and then turn all of those into sticky pistons. There's a reason why I'm using sticky pistons and not regular pistons. If we use regular pistons, the regular pistons will push these blocks down, and they will break them, and they will bounce all over the place. If you use a sticky piston and a slab, then it doesn't throw it all over the place. And so the object here is that we're trying to make sure that these pistons don't pop out the side of the farm, right? So what kind of slabs do I have? Uh, I have I have 46 of these. So that's, that's actually kind of what I think I want to use. So let's do that. Let's do this. We need to go right there and then right there. And then we need to go there, right? So we're going to need a, a slab at this level. We're going to need a... Axe. So let's grab that. Break those. Hello. Don't pick those up. Thanks very much. And then we and then we kind of need to go through here, and we need to just make it so that all of these. Um, actually, can I put the observers in right here? Uh, I might be able to put the observers in right here if I go up here like so. Do I have any blocks that I can use? Maybe. Give me that. Give me this. Give me this. Give me these. Yeah, that that should be fine. Don't think I need food on me. If we do that, then hiya, yeah. Uh, ooh, that could be a problem because we cannot. We're not facing down. Actually, we might be able to just do it like this. Huh? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So now we can put the uh, we can put the observers like that. We can put blocks on top of that. Yeah, that should work. Should work. So if we just kind of do this all the way around. And put these kind of everywhere like this. And then do an observer like this. Where's my observers? There they are. We do an observer like that. Yeah. So that should be perfect. And then we just need blocks on top of this. Something kind of like this. Right. And then we do, uh, we do pistons and we do, actually, you know what? We just kind of make it so that, oh, that, it stole my block. Darn it. Uh, so pistons need to go on top of this. Is there any way that I can do, yeah, there is. I can do that, right? And then if I do a piston on top of this like so, when that grows, when that gets updated, then that piston should fire, right? So let's see if I can break this. Break you, you, you. That should be fine. Yeah. While we're at it, we might as well just go ahead and do this. Like so. So now if that pumpkin grows again, that should fire, yeah? Oh, well, it won't because we don't have, yeah, we need that to be redstone, I think. So like this and like this, this, and then put redstone in there. Then it should work, yeah? Redstone, check. And check. Cool. Oh, we got pillagers. Great. Hmm. 
So it only, so if the half slab is not obstructed, the half slab doesn't come back. Good to know. All right, so I think I need to do some design revamping, but I think we're in a position now where we can make this kind of work um, and, uh, and kind of go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. I'm gonna get this installed all the way around so that we have all of the, uh, uh, all of the things that we, you know, all of the, all of the space is covered and then we should be able to get automatic harvesting uh, out of this. But yeah, look at that. We got, got more melons and pumpkins in there, which is cool. So I guess I need to go ahead and get this thing built up. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so after a little bit of AFK time and a lot of building, well, not really a lot of building, but a fair amount of building, um, I've let this run for a little while and I'm noticing a small problem. You see that in there? You see that right there? It looks like, so when, when, when blocks get harvested, it looks like they start to get pulled towards the, uh, towards the uh, the vacuum hopper, but it also looks like they might be getting caught on the ledges here or the farmland. See how that, see what happened right there? So it looks like they might, get, might be getting stuck on the, on the ledge there, which is unfortunate. I'm not sure what I can do about that though. Um, I suppose I could move this up and try the slabs, but the uh, the issue that I had with the slabs was is that with some of them, because it's like a one tick pulse kind of a thing, it uh, it, the, it doesn't necessarily always pull the slabs back. And then if it doesn't pull the slabs back, then nothing can grow there. So I'm gonna have to see if I can figure out what I can do to to make this work a little bit better. Obviously, I can just walk around and, and collect items, but then that defeats the purpose of having the vacuum hopper, right? So um, so it's unfortunate, but we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. What I wanna do next though, since I've got this basically working, and uh, and if we come over here, right? Like if I come over here and go zoop, like so, um, I mean, it's doing it's doing an okay job. So we're we're getting items in here, which is cool. Um, but what I want to do next is the reason for this melon. Oops, the reason for this melon. And, oh, that's my AFK hut, by the way. The reason for this melon and pumpkin farm. This one specifically is so that we get items uh, automatically for uh, for villager trading. And so we're going to need a place to do some villager trading. We're, number one, we're going to need to get some villagers here. There are some villagers in a village right over there. And then there's also the village over there, which is where my mending books are. Um, but I'm not too beholden to that village if I can get villagers over here closer by uh, relatively easily. What I do want to do though is I need to make a villager trading hall. I'm not sure how much of this we're going to get done in this episode, but I've got an idea. Uh, and that idea is, that was something up there. Uh, that idea is, is that over here, and we talked about it in a live stream uh, here recently, is that right over here, so over there we've got that, uh, the step pyramid, right? Over here we've got this pyramid here, which is, again, kind of like a step pyramid. Um, to challenge my building style, yes, the RB plays building style, which is, as most of you know, non-existent. Uh, but to challenge my building style, I want to see if I can build a sphinx. You know, the 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 half like lion half human kind of thing that's on the that's on the desert floor over there in Egypt the sphinx yeah and i found a uh, i found a uh, uh, a website that has a um like a uh, like a plan uh, like a schematic for it and uh, and i'm going to see if i can go layer by layer and build that we're going to do it in a live stream and then time lapse it together so i hope you guys enjoy this and let's see how it turns out if we can even get it done because I've got I think I've got all the materials that I need but I don't know we're gonna have to wait and see anyway let's roll the time lapse and see what we come up with
it is in all of its glory. We'll have to do a little bit of terraforming and clean up some of this, make it look a little bit more deserty. But this is uh, this is looking good. Uh, in 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 the, in the stream chat, uh, when we built this, we were standing on top of this pillar right here, and everybody said, "Dude, it looks like a dog," and it totally does. It totally looks like a stinking dog, right? So let's zoom in over here. Let's go. Zoop. See, it looks like a dog. I don't know why it looks like a dog, but it looks like a dog. So um, it's supposed to be a sphinx. It's supposed to be a cat, but. I don't know. Maybe it's a dog. What do you guys think? You guys have to let me know down in the comments. Um, it turned out really good, right? So if we come in here, like we've got an entrance right here. I think I want to put an entrance in here to protect our villagers, um, which we totally don't have any villagers yet. We're going to have to go to the nether and uh, and see if we can get some uh, some of these uh, like uh, uh uh, oh gosh, what are they called? Uh, lasso. We need to make a lasso. Uh, lasso. We need to make one of these, a cursed lasso. We need these cursed droplets. You get those from Wither Skeleton Drops, and you need the you need one of these, which we have. You need one of these, which we don't have, to make one of these, which we can totally make if we get the cursed lasso. Uh, we need that to get our villagers from over there and over there and wherever else we can find villagers from to bring them home to their new Sphinxy Sphinx home. And, uh, and, and it should look just fine. Um, so in here, we got some gold blocks for decoration. I, I might change the way that this is laid out just a little bit. Uh, I put some, put some lighting in here so that we wouldn't spawn all kinds of mobs, right? Uh, there is another way that you can get, uh, there's another place that you can go. You can get right here. Like you could come down this way. You can do one of these little numbers like this, right? And uh, if we came right on through here like so, right? could totally make it down here and and we could also make it so that this runs down underground and uh and and makes it so that uh so that we have a place underground to put the villagers that should be cool right uh put that back the way it goes like a so uh like that there we go uh come back out of here do 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 and then up and close that again um there's just there's so many opportunities so many different opportunities that we have we need to make this into sand Probably sand. Sand would look best there, right? Yeah, let's get some sand. We'll put that in there. Um, sand. Ta-da. And then, ta-da. Cool? Yeah, that's cool. I think this looks good, y'all. What do you think? You'll have to let me know. Um, yeah, you'll have to let me know. We are still having problems over here. So if you guys have any suggestions on what we can do here as well, I would be uh, I would be very glad to hear it. So every once in a while, I'll walk around and kind of make sure that uh, that we pick up as min as much of it as we can because I don't want to lose it all, right? Uh, but what I think I might do, and you guys will have to tell me if you think it'll work or not, is um, I did try to put slabs underneath here, you know, have this piston where this block is. And when it would fire, it sometimes it would leave the half slab down here because it's like a one tick pulse kind of a thing. And so it's it's almost like a uh, like a block swapper kind of a thing. And it doesn't necessarily pull the half slab back when you use sticky pistons. I have sticky pistons. I have plenty of sticky pistons. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but at the same time, I would really like for this to to work. And and the reason why I say sticky pistons and, and slabs might make it better is because when the blocks get harvested, uh, let's see if we can find let's see if we can find a spot. If when the blocks get harvested, right, they kind of sit now see that one there. That one there is struggling. So it might be full right now. Is it full right now? It could be full right now. So, ta-da. Oh, it's totally full. Well, that's fine. We'll make it totally empty. It's still not picking everything up, right? There's still items down here that it hasn't picked up. I'm almost positive. So let's take a look here. Does Is it going to grow anytime super soon? Yeah, see right there? It grew and it harvested and it did the thing. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know if this is the right way to do this or if, if I should try... Uh, a little something different because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like I said at the beginning of the episode, I think that stuff is getting hung up on that little on that little lip right there, and it can't pull. Like for some reason, that seemed to be working. I don't know. Anyway, you guys will have to let me know. But sadly, I am out of time. We did good work today. We got ourselves a sphinxy sphinx. We got this thing built, and it seems to be working most of the time. Uh, and the sphinx is looking pretty sweet. And I. 
am a happy RB. So anyway, that is going to do it for today. Sp thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we'll chat about it in kind. Don't, for don't forget to stop by my Discord server where we talk about all things life all things gaming and all things minecraft but once again folks that is all the time i have for today thank you so much for watching and until next time we will catch you on the flip side we'll see you later bye bye <laughs>